We all have a sense of belonging. We belong to families, clans, villages, tribes, regions, states, religious affiliations and others. South Sudan is a mother of 64 tribes. Once in history, we were united for a common goal, and that was to gain freedom. There we got it, and again drown ourselves into war because of what we regarded as tribal separation. We cannot avoid the fact that we belong to certain communities, but we can avoid finding pride in our cultures over those of our fellow brothers and sisters. We have the chance to stay together and not regard ourselves as tribes, but rather as citizens. Hey, in reference to the Greek mythology, there are three types of people in a country. One, the idiots. Those who don't even know that they belong to the nation because they're self-centered and selfish. Always looking for their own gain and self-interest. Two, the tribals. These are people who find pride and find joy in belonging to a certain group. They're always suspicious of someone alien and their main focus is their tribal life. They're usually anti-peace and love war. Three, the citizens. These are people who struggle to build the nation because they believe they are because others are. They are well equipped with the knowledge and skills to live a respectable life. They fight for their freedom with an awareness of the rights of others. They produce a civilized society and friendships. They work for the betterment of the society. Now back to you. Where do you fall? Remember, we need one another to survive in the country. And therefore dividing ourselves along tribal lines will break the nation that we have longed to have. We can rise up to fight this kind of hatred in our country by changing our mentality towards others. It starts with you. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. We can't expect to change the way we feel about our fellow brothers and sisters if we don't start to have respect for their cultures, religion and language. Only love can drive out hate. Only the citizenship in you can drive out tribalism. It's only when we realize we are because others are. That's when we begin to develop the nation. As Nelson Mandela once said, no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be told to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. We can learn to love one another because love is life. Don't go out mentioning tribes and finding time to isolate yourself from the others. Believe you have one tribe, and that is South Sudan. Do not be a tribalist, be a citizen. You need to spread the message of peace and love. Sing for peace and love if you can. Play for peace if you still have the energy. Run for peace, form groups for peace. Speak for peace and spread this message to our fellow brothers and sisters. Unity is when we put our different dreams in the one umbrella for one purpose. We cannot say we are united when we don't know what we are uniting for. This kind of unity can only begin within you. Start to love and preach peace before you expect others to do so. Let's substitute war with peace, hate with love, tribalist with the citizen. I am a Madi Lopit, Nwer, Mundaria, Choli, Balanda, Dinka, Zande, Perit, Utolkakwa, Kukumuru and others. I am a South Sudanese. I am a Junobi for life.